guys, good morning. Oh, well, actually almost afternoon, it's 11.20. You guys, <laughs> welcome to Vlogmas day 12. I am heading over to my dad's house right now. I'm gonna help him and my brother decorate the Christmas tree, AKA I'm gonna decorate it. Um, he told me to come between 10 and 11 and it's 11.20 and I just left my house. I have on my little set active sweatsuit. Um, I love this color so much. The color is called Canyon. I bought it last year and I love it. What is this car doing? Like, what are you doing? Why? Oh my God, I'm gonna kill the car in front of me. If you're gonna like slow down on a main road and pull over into a parallel spot, please put your blinker on so we know what you're doing. You're not just like literally like slowly moving through the road. Like, I don't understand that. <laughs> I could give someone an uncle sandwich right now that's how I feel literally how I feel I feel very snippy very irritable very much like someone's gonna get an uncle sandwich if they look at me sideways right now okay so I'm on my way to my dad's and I decided to call him because I was gonna start stop at Starbucks so I called my brother I'm like do anything from Starbucks he's like yeah I'm on my way to Ace Hardware we had to get more lights for the tree and so I'm like wait does my dad have ornaments so I literally called him told him I'm on my way and then I'm grabbing Starbucks and I was like do you have ornaments he's like no I'm like oh okay so we're gonna run into Target because there's a Starbucks in Target and see maybe if I can find just like a pack of balls maybe pack of balls <laughs> a pack of just balls and then maybe like a few little cute ones they probably won't have any it's a sunday and it's december 11th i know all the cute ornaments are probably gone but there might be a few cute ones left you guys i just got the closest spot that you could possibly get to target <laughs> i'm so happy hi guys good morning and welcome to vlogmas day 13 13 is one of my favorite numbers actually um kind of woke up on the wrong side of bed today honestly wrong side of the bed today can't talk um I don't know why but I just did probably because I am PMSing so that's probably contributing to it but what better way to get out of a funky mood than go to the mall uh, I'm actually not gonna go buy anything not that I know of no I'm not buying anything no 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 bad 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 <laughs> um I am gonna exchange the Zara gray sweater that I bought the other day um, I showed it to you guys in my last vlog and I love it I'm just gonna get a new one so what had happened was I the sweater I tried on the button was kind of like stretched out a little bit on the first button and that's like where it kind of pulls a little bit like on your chest area and I was just it was a little stretched out the hole um, and I was just thinking like that's just gonna get worse over time and I don't want it to become this big gaping hole and then the button will not fit it'll look sloppy whatever so I ended up getting a different small and then I got home and I saw a huge spot on the one that I got that I did not see in the store and it looked like a grease spot it's like dead front and center in the front excuse me so I'm like I am not I just spit everywhere <laughs> I'm not keeping that um but on the drive over to the mall I just listened to the skinny confidential podcast um and they had on the um creator of aviator nation and it's actually a really great story so if you guys are into podcasts I'm not a consistent podcast listener I will listen to them here and now like I feel like if I'm like in a funky mood or if I take bear on a walk and I don't want to listen to music I will listen to a podcast and I do like the skinny confidential ones so I just listened to that one on the way over and it was very good I feel like when they interview certain people or business people or people who've created their own businesses it's like a nice kick in the butt and i just feel like i love hearing stories about people creating their own business and hearing about how they did it you know like where the idea came from and yeah i really like hearing about that because that's ultimately my big goal in life is to have my own business something that i created myself um and that's always kind of what I've pictured myself doing is something myself. Um, so yeah, I like hearing stories about that. But you guys, I want to show you guys the lip gloss I just put on. Um, I've been meaning to tell you guys about this and I keep forgetting. Um, it's the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is in the color Pearl. It's 001, so it's like the most whitest out of all of them, which is my cup of tea. And it is... Mm, you guys 
it feels so good. There's hyaluronic acid in it. There's hyaluronic acid in it, so it makes you look super, super juicy, super plump. And I love that there's sparkles in it, and it feels so good. You know how some lip glosses are very sticky, and they can feel very drying? Um, this one does not feel drying at all, and I feel like this is a lip gloss where I can just put it on by itself. I don't have to put, like, chapstick or anything on underneath it, and it's just glossy, and it's pretty, and I love the smell of it. It smells sweet. So I love this. I've been using this. Um, besides like my trusty dusty Mac ones, I've been using this and I've been loving it. So let's go exchange this sweater. I'm out of breath. Um, and then, um, need to ship out a pair of shoes on Poshmark and then, um, what else do I need to do? There's something else. I need. Oh, I'm picking up the boy. I watch a little early from school today because I have to take him to his dentist appointment. So, day is going to be cut a little bit short, but it's okay. I've been running around like a chicken with my hand cut off today. I just feel like a lot of little tiny errands. Um, I just got the tomato parm soup from Whole Foods. I've never had it before, and the last time I went to get soup there, they didn't have it. Mmm. Oh my god. Perfect consistency. A little bit on the thicker side, but not... And taste the parm in it which is nice i do like to add a little bit of like black pepper and cheese to my tomato soup i feel like just to give it a little something something hi guys and good afternoon it's like 1 p.m right now welcome back to another day of vlogmas you guys i did not vlog a lot yesterday yesterday i was a chicken with my head cut off i had a ton of errands i went into work a little bit earlier than usual because i was taking the boy i watched to the dentist to get a tooth pulled and I don't know why I was I think I was more nervous than him like I think because I was just in the room with him they gave him the laughing gas and they were like pulling it and then he got nervous and then I was getting nervous and I think it just made me nervous <laughs> so yesterday was kind of all over the place and I was kind of in a funky mood I feel like yesterday and like this morning a little bit of Sunday too so like I would say for a few days um, it's because it's my time of the month. Like, I am, she's coming, she's coming to visit me this weekend. And Miss Flo is just putting me in quite the mood. And I'm just the type of person, like, before it's my time of the month, I feel so just, like, gross. And it's hard to get on camera when you feel really gross. And I know that it's, I don't look gross but it's just you feel gross like it's like from the inside and it's your mind playing tricks on you so that's how I've been feeling the last few days you guys are wondering but we're gonna make a turkey sandwich right now I'm starving that's another thing that's happening with me the last few days is I have just been so hungry like all day every day I had some hot chocolate last night while watching the season finale of White Lotus if you guys watch White Lotus what do you guys think of the finale <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing at the end with what happened with Portia. That's her name, right? Um, the main woman. I was laughing. I <laughs> I don't know why. I thought the whole situation, like the whole ending was just kind of funny. Um, and I didn't mind the ending. I feel like I heard a lot of mixed reviews on the ending. Like people were upset. They wanted more. Blah, blah, blah. But I think everything ended exactly how it was supposed to and I was still very pleased with the season You guys I never also watched the first episode, so I would love to go back and watch that Um the noise in the back is my washer don't I am washing I have to wash my barefoot dreams blanket again I just washed it because bear got it all muddy this morning So I'm washing that but it's okay because I need to wash that white sweatshirt I have and that goes along with that load, but I'm gonna start my sandwich off with the Alpha Rose Micro Bakery Santa Cruz Sourdough. I love sourdough bread. I would die without sourdough bread, literally. So I'm gonna start off by toasting and put it in the toaster oven. But yeah, I basically have just been like a PMS monster the last few days. And I just like honestly haven't been pleasant to be around. So that's what I've been doing. I've just been in quite the mood. I was telling you guys last week that I wanted to do, get a little zhuzh, get a little, little lip filler. Now I'm scaling back on my thoughts um so i do have my botox appointment tomorrow she also does my lip filler and i've gone to a few other people but i've always kind of gone back to her honestly i think just what happened and why i wanted to go to someone else was i did have a ton of filler built built <laughs> built up over the years in my lips my lips never got out of hand honestly for how often i was going i definitely metabolized filler fast but um, there was some migration. I think that's just from using Juvederm Ultra Plus that does have the tendency to migrate. So I did have some migration on my top lip. I feel like I do have some of my bottom lips. So I'm gonna ask her tomorrow when I get Botox if she feels some filler like down here 
uh, right here. If she doesn't, maybe we'll do a little zhuzh. If she does, maybe we'll dissolve it and then maybe I'll just like revisit and go back in a month or so. But I am gonna get my Botox tomorrow. Yesterday was three months exactly from when the last time I got Botox. I got Botox September 12th. I get about 13 units, which is not a lot. Um, but I just do it for preventative purposes. I don't want my face to be changed or altered in any way and Botox can definitely do that. I don't like the frozen look, it freaks me out personally. I know some people like it. Freaks me out personally. I feel like with any sort of surgery, like plastic surgery. Okay, sorry guys, that was a quick intermission, but I did finish making my lunch. Um, I'll flip the camera out after. But what I was saying was, in terms of plastic surgery, fillers, Botox, all of that, everything in that realm, my opinion on it is, and what I personally like, is I like it to look like, hmm, does she have lip filler? Does she, like, I don't like the look of, oh my God, she has so much lip filler. Oh my God, she has so much Botox. Like, I don't want anyone to ever look at me and think that because I don't want to look any different than myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to enhance it naturally and be preventative with Botox so I don't have forehead wrinkles. So I definitely like the look of like, hmm, does she have Botox? Does she have lip, like lip filler? I don't have huge lips. I'm obviously not meant to have huge lips because I wasn't born with them. So for me with lip filler, I just like little zhuzhes here and then um, just to help my mouth shape because I have an M shot. Um, I have an M shaped lip and it's not very pretty. I literally have my dad's mouth to a T. My side profile looks exactly like my dad's. It's quite scary, honestly, when we're side by side. Um, but yeah, that's my take on filler, plastic surgery, all that stuff. I like to keep people guessing like, hmm, is it, is it not? Okay, yeah, like that's how I like it to look. But let me show you guys what I'm having for lunch. Okay, so this is what's for lunch. Turkey sandwich with sharp cheddar cheese, lettuce, sourdough bread, toasted, yummy potato salad that my stepdad made last night. It's so bomb. And then grapes, kind of like a summer lunch, but. One thing about me, I love a good turkey sandwich. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys after. Okay, back, and I was just doing laundry. Now I'm on my third and final load of laundry. It's my sheets. They felt really dirty, and I self-tanned last night. It was a week exactly today, and I was like, all right, time to throw them in the wash. But I had to wash some other things first. Bear literally jumped on my blanket again this morning, and I got mud all over it. Um, but we're still in a really funky mood. My cramps are starting, so let's make some brownies. I feel like brownies solve everything. I use the triple chocolate Ghirardelli mix. I don't have the big box right now because it's in the garage. It comes in like a three pack, I think, or four or five. I don't know. It comes in a pack from Costco. And there's like five or six of these, I think. <laughs> three pack, and then it goes to five to six. But these are the best, best, best store-bought brownies. You will taste other brownies after these, and you, you'll be grossed out. I don't need any brownies besides this because these are so rich and dark. There's chunks, and there's chips in there, and it's so good. They're like the best most moist brownies ever, so let's make them. I've just been feeling off, honestly. But you know what? The great thing that just happened was, is I was just on the phone with my mom, and I was complaining about something to her, and then I look up, and there's literally a black cat in my backyard, like all the way at the top of the hill, like just roaming. I've never seen another animal besides bear, and I don't know, maybe a fox or something back there. Um, so the fact that there's a cat back there is like insane. Like you don't just hop over, it's like, steep on the hill so initially when i saw it, i think of oh my god bad luck halloween like whatever but then i realized i read i swear <laughs> i feel like all i've been reading not all i've been reading but i feel like between the feng shui and just like astrology stuff i just i'm kind of superstitious so so the idea and the meaning behind a black cat i guess is very different in every culture so i was reading on google that in japan to have a black cat helps a single woman find a suitor. I think in Russia, cats are always good luck. Um, what was the other main country? I can't remember which one it was. I can't remember which one it was, but it was saying that if a cat crosses your path or something, it brings wealth and fortune. So I saw that cat and I'm like, wealth and fortune. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. All right, so let's stop rambling about freaking Let's just make these brownies. The reason why I love this recipe is because it's just a third, a third, and an egg in the oven at 325 for 45 minutes. Like that. Because it's a third, a third, an egg. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Third water, a third oil, 
um, in an egg. So I just feel like that's super easy. 325 for 45 minutes, not a minute longer, not a minute less. And 45 minutes is if you like that moist middle. If you like your brownies on the drier side, then do it like 48. 45 if you want them moist in the middle. That's how I like them. Okay, I just started eating the batter. Let's see how much I can eat. And you are a rotten, rotten, filthy liar. If you don't eat the batter when you're making your baked goods at home for home. I'm not talking about the ones you bring to other people's houses. About the ones you eat. You're a liar if you say that you don't like the batter. Because I love the batter. Just like I love raw cookie dough. Like I don't care. Salmonella. I don't care. I want it. <laughs> I probably chocolate all over my face. You know what else is like the best part of this batter? Is it's like salty too. That's why these brownies are good. They're sweet but like more in a darker chocolate way. So they're not super milk chocolatey. And they're salty. It's so good. Also do not forget to spray your pan at the bottom. I want a perfume that smells like the pan baking spray. Like I would spray this on myself. Literally smells like a funfetti vanilla. Like this is what I want my body to smell like. <laughs> also another reason why I feel like I've been in such a funkadelic mood the last few days is because it's been raining. And ugh, I just get, ugh, I just hate it. I quite honestly despise the rain. So we're gonna pop these bad boys in for 45 minutes exactly at 325. And you guys will see them after. I'll see. Yum. I cannot wait to have these up for dinner, watching the Warriors game. And that's about all. Good night.